All right, so for this first one, we will choose Scars. Loki Hive, I remember all now. Scars Guard Abraxas is a modicum of my full being, but one that has shown me a great understanding. I choose this form. I will not join with you, nor will I allow you to control the Ark. So be it, Scars Guard Abraxas. You have nothing that can harm our great Nexus. Stay, leave, it matters not to us. So long as we are here, you cannot control the Ark and use it for your purposes. We have waited billions of years. We can wait billions more. Can you, Skarsgård Abraxas? Can you? Loki Hive transmission terminated. Thank you, Father. Thank you for choosing the right path. Aliana, is there nothing we can do? I don't see anything possible, Father. That Nexus has a shield that no weapon can penetrate. Even if we could, the Nexus itself seems indestructible. We will fight on anyway, daughter. If we must fight for a million years, we will do so. But we must never leave. All right, then. Uh, let's see. Oh, so I have a decent energy infrastructure built up. I do have... Oh, I need to drop an ore mine over here. I hadn't done that yet. I need a collector in range to get to it. Um... So I am outputting decent amounts of energy. I have to figure out what I need to do. Uh, let's actually just go with a sprayer here. Set it to always on. We'll see how that does. And then I can get in a forge so that I can start getting upgrades. Um, the issue is going to be having to deal with... And I can now activate this again so that I can push out some of the because it's flying up that way, which means it's going to drop something I have to deal with. What's it got? Building. Alright, so it has... Okay. Can I get a beamer in there? I can. Alright, so it's 8% built. So this thing's going to fly around. It's going to drop spore towers and emitters, and I have to try to deal with those as it does so. Um, that's going to be a bit of an issue. I need to expand out, um, which I'm hoping I can do here, but obviously I'm having trouble with that process. Okay, so we've got another spore tower coming in there, which is going to be a... Oh. Father, something just dropped out of the warp in the system. It's badly damaged and heading for this planet. I see it. It's a ship. Platius, you old fool. Aliana, Platius must have set this mighty ship on course for this planet. I will attempt to predict the crash site on, on the map. Clear out anything in the way. All right, so apparently I have to get there. Well, that's good. I'm building mortars over there, so I might be able to do that. Um, I need to get to that. Okay, let's see here. Weapons, get cannons in here. Because if I can get this destroyed, that'll give me a circle of power to use, which will be very helpful. Okay, so there's... This ship is ancient. It must have been prepared, were preserved for a billion or more years. Where, I don't know. But it is totally useless now. It's crashed and it's just fragments. Look at those fragments. In their midst, the plans for the mightiest vessel ever constructed. The Thor. We must obtain those schematics. They will hold the secret to destroying the Nexus. Alright, so now I have to get to the Thor, um, and I am having some energy issues. I thought I had a decent energy setup, but apparently it's not as good as I need it to be. Uh, which means I need more... Well, I can get energy efficiency. That'll help. I'm gonna get ore efficiency too. This is working. Okay, cool. Um, so let's expand these so that they can do that. Can I get the relay in not? Yep, there we go. So that relay will get me the Thor, and if it works the way, the same way the Thor did in the other games, that's going to be incredibly useful. Um, I am kind of concerned that up here I am not making any progress at all. Uh, I'm actually going to destroy that one, bring down this one, and see what I lose. Relay. 
Oh, crud. That is producing too quickly for me to be able to handle it. I had not been expecting that to occur. I really need to... And that other relay apparently lost as well. Come on. That's... There we go. Get that in place. I just need to reduce that. This needs to survive long enough for that to be effective. That means I need... Amazing! This ship uses recognizable technology for the most part, though on a massive scale. But the main cannon, the construction is similar to the dark beam of ancient times. Yes, of course. This makes sense. The main cannons appear as though they fire self-guided bursts of energy, an energy that will damage the Nexus. These cannons look as if they are specifically designed for this purpose. Of course they were. The Loki weren't the only ones who knew what would happen. But the Loki have prepared for this possibility, Aliana. They have surrounded their Nexus with a shield. This shield is impervious to any of the weapons we have, including the Thor. Then we are still at an impasse. Platius was always one step ahead. I don't believe he... Father, I think you were right. The impact of the crash ship sent tectonic waves through the crust of this world. I show buried structures here that may be of use. Oh? Yes, the structures are the remains of ancient and primitive weapons, missile silos from a primitive culture. If we terraform down to level one, we can access these remains. I can program the nano construction packets to build them. Ah, you are as brilliant now as ever, my daughter. Platius knew this as well. The missiles will fly into the shield around the Nexus and damage it. The Loki didn't design the shield for such primitive projectile weapons. I'll indicate the location of the silos, Father. We must secure these locations and terraform them to level one. Once excavated, hook up our network and, for and arm the silos. The Thor may not be able to penetrate the Nexus shield, Aliana, but I sure bet it will help secure the area around those missile silos. Okay. So, now I need to come down to Titans and build, um, build a Thor? Where can I get a Thor? Cancel. Let's try destroying this. Did I get a Thor there? I can get a Thor there. Okay. It's gonna land and drop something. Okay. I need mortars in strategic areas to help keep the edge clear. Unfortunately. All right. And I also need beams covering areas as well. What I lose? Oh, oh my. Um, what did it drop? Um, all right. So let's see if I can get a nullifier in very quickly. Because if I can, that can give me a circle of power, which will be very helpful in cleaning this out. Um, the Thor is really taking up a lot of energy, though, so I need to put in more energy gatherers. That's got to... I am not making any headway on that side. That's pretty bad. And as soon as that thing's ammo stops... Oof. All right, so let's deactivate the Thor for the moment, because I cannot afford the energy draw that it's... I didn't make it. Okay, fall back. You fall back as well. Um, crud. Alright, so that got that. That'll work. And I lost a mortar up there. Yep, because that's not good. Come on. Alright, so now I'm back into a holding action, unfortunately, which isn't where I want to be. Um, get a... that nullifier isn't going to be good enough. Okay. So I need more energy and lots of it to be able to power the shields. Is that... What did it drop that time? It dropped another... Okay. Okay, so... Let's see. This is going to head up there. That'll cover it. That's fine. I just... I really need to be able to get these things destroyed. Okay, so let's... Hmm. I don't want to stop resupply on that, because it's part of what's pushing the stuff in. Alright, can I get 
Let's go lots of energy efficiency and see if that gives me... Yes, that does give me what I need. Okay, good. Um, so, let's start building the Thor again. And that doesn't sap my energy, so I'm doing okay. Get in more reactors to be able to maintain... Oh, crud. Alright, I need another mortar there to deal with that one. But if I can just... If I can take this one out, I'll be in a much better position. It's just I'm not doing a great job. Nope. That mortar didn't finish in time. Okay, I need to send that guy over. And then I need to get cannons in his backup to help hold it. Because that's bad. And as soon as that happens, that's going to be an issue. Okay, then we've got this coming. But we do have turrets in place. I'm going to have to rebuild is the only problem. Okay. Get the relay in. And weapons. Get in beamers. Because I need to keep this pretty well covered. Okay. Oh, this guy's not surviving. Ugh. This is kind of frustrating. Okay, let's go energy efficiency and or efficiency. Um, that was another... Okay, that's fine. They'll handle it. Okay. So, mortars seem to be okay. I need... Can I get... I can get another fire on the outside. Excellent. So that'll give me a circle of power that I need to actually start making some headway. Uh, hopefully, anyway. I mean, nothing's guaranteed the way this is going at the moment. Especially with more um, all right, weapons, beamers. Especially with that guy being where he is. Really need another beamer there and there. Just have beamers all around the place. Okay, get in some more reactors. To increase my energy, at least until I can get the Thor up. Um, okay, good. This guy's going. Get in some more cannons. Now, if I get range and rate, that'll improve my weapons as well. Okay. Now I can drop this in, which should help clear that spot out. Alright. And there's lots of emitters and stuff. Come on, Thor. Alright, let's see here. Can I get build speed? I can get build speed. Good. That'll help. Okay, so this guy's trying to dig through. Not doing a great job. Get something else in to help. Uh-oh. That doesn't look good. Oh no. No! Oh, that is not right. It should have to stay inside, says I. As long as it drops, good. I can handle that. That gives me another circle, though, which... Oh, I forgot to keep an eye on that guy, so he died. That's fine. That'll let me put a mortar in there, which will help to a large extent. Okay. This actually isn't really doing anything, but I can jump these back over again to try and help doing something. Oh, hey! It finally got... Nope. No! No! Barely got it clear and then ran out of ammo. So if I do this quickly... Oh, hey, the Thor's up. Good. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Nullify that. Alright, gotta swap this guy back in. I need to pay attention to multiple things, unfortunately, and I'm not very good at that. Um, okay. Okay, so that's done. So I'm actually going to put that there. Okay. <sighs> Speaking of paying attention to multiple things and being bad at it, go. There we go. Structure. Get a relay in as soon as this is done so that I can keep it going. Come on. There. Nope. There. No. There we go. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Success. Ah! <sighs> But it didn't keep it up. Alright. I am losing stuff. Why am I losing stuff? Because it landed to plant stuff. Okay, so I need another nullifier to take that one out. And this isn't going because it died. 
<sighs> That's not going because I'm not paying enough attention. Okay. This is getting frustrating. Alright. There's just too much going on at once. It's basically... guy over here, because that'll let me do this. Whoops. Relay down here. Or not. Apparently it's out of range. Is it connected? There we go. Now it's connected. Good. Alright, get some more reactors in so that stuff stays active. Now I'm supposed to be trying to what you call it? Um, I can't remember the word. Clear the silos? Yeah, I'm supposed to be trying to clear the silos, but uh, via terraforming. But I don't have... But I need to clear the area to get the terraforming to work. And that's just proving frustrating at the moment. Alright, I'm going to disable... Deactivate? No. Disarm that. Disarm that, because right now they're not actually doing me any good. Okay, get another nullifier in there. And another cannon in there. What'd I lose? It landed over there. What did it drop? It dropped an emitter. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um, cancel that, grab you three, move you over there, go with move speed a few times, cancel, play. Yeah, so since it can leave the zone, basically, it's getting harder to handle this stuff. Because that's outputting a lot at the moment. Which is going to mess up with my infrastructure over on this side. Arg. I need a relay in to get that guy going. Okay. Move that in. And then I can get a nullifier. Come on. There. Nope. take stock. Those are clear. If I grab this guy and put him there, that'll help with that. Then I can move that down, get a relay in to assist, get a nullifier there. Which, all right, and then I can terraform, train height 1, size 9, there. Get them in range. Okay. That'll work there. This will destroy that, hopefully, quickly. I think I've got enough in place to be able to handle it, but we'll see. Alright, what am I losing? I lost a nullifier. It wasn't that one, though. Oh, come on. I got too far away from my power. I thought I was still close enough, but I was not. That's a problem. Okay. Oh, relay. 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 Get a nullifier in there. Okay. Get him in to continue. When that one goes off, I can drop a mortar in it. Let's actually grab a couple mortars there. Alright, where's he going? Let's get these guys out of the way. Nope, he's fine. Okay. Drop that in there. That can give me defense. 
Okay, for now, I'm just going to let this run. Um, commentary is just me repeating myself. So I'll let this run. I'll speed it up until I get these down. And then we can worry about what comes after that. Your efforts are in vain. Continue with this annoyance, and we shall show you our true wrath. Prepare yourself for unforeseen eventualities, Loki Hive. So, apparently that was because I got to 50 cents. Or 50%. Excuse me. No, nope, back to uh, silence and just destroying what it drops. Because this is kind of tedious at this point. The shield around the Nexus is down, Father. Now, we will use the main cannons of the mighty Thor and destroy the Nexus. We shall see Skarsgård Abraxas and the Anomaly. Now witness our true wrath. Alright, Thor, fire main cannons. Kaboom. Again. 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 Um... How about we move? We should move. And then we can just fire main cannons a lot. Keep going. Oh, it's shooting stuff. Why am I not firing main cannons anymore? Ammo. Oh, okay. This ends now, Loki Hive. Many, 
eventualities. Many. Imperator. Loki transmission terminated. Yay. Oh, that was... That was tedious near the end there. But that is success. I... I'm speechless, father. And so it is done, my daughter. Ten billion years it has taken, and now I stand as a finite being at last. I'm not so sure about that, father. The ark once made cannot be unmade. It is here and stands at your disposal. This is a great power for a finite man. Perhaps as the Imperator I could... Father, I'm only just beginning to understand this great plan of yours, but I believe everything that has happened did so as you had planned. Perhaps, my daughter. Perhaps I shall choose to believe that. But even with all that, I now know and remember. I'm not sure what to do next. The Ark allows you to visit any time, any place, and any alternate reality. You can go anywhere at any time. But where would one go with such choices? Who or what would one be? I have an idea, Father. Perhaps you can travel to ten billion years ago, when the Loki first emerged into greatness. Interesting proposition, Aliana. And what will I call myself? How about something familiar? Something to honor one you always respected? How about... Yes, Aliana, you have always been very wise. I think I shall choose that name during my travels, at least for a while. It is all very clear to me. When I travel to times past, I will simply be called Platius. All right, so half an hour for that, unfortunately. I, it took me a while to get to a point where I felt stable enough to go searching for things. Apparently I should have just built the Thor sooner, but that's fine. Claim the victory. And of course, all of... Oh, transcript. 4281999, part one of two, date 1014-0201-144th CE, attendees, Newton Mont, ARC Project Reacher Director, Saloy Science Academy, Standing Council Directors. Transcript follows. Newton Mont, Council, our team has confirmed your suspicions. Council Director 2. Then it is true. The Ark exists. Newton Mont. Yes, Council. Further, we have identified two means by which it may be revealed. One, we believe, is being employed by the Loki. Council Director 4. So, the Creeper and the Ark are intertwined? Newton Mont. It would seem so. We also believe the Loki are aware of only one method to reveal the Ark. Council Director 1. And how have you reached these conclusions, Director Mont? Newton Mont. For this, I present our newest nominee for research fellow. His insights led us to our conclusions. Council Director 5. Bring in this young man. We wish to question him directly. Council Director 3. What is this man's name, Director Mont? Newton Mont. Platius, Council. His name is Platius Abraxas. Transcript ends. Onward! Alright, so 30 minutes compared to my 245, which is what they rated on. Submit score. Continue. And of course that ending is uh, going to be the end for every one of these it seems like we'll see what it does for the um the end that is when you choose the to become imperator and that will be uh, a sub video for now that ends my uh, story playthrough of creeper world 3 i i don't know what the choice will be in creeper world 4 but i suspect that this is what will be considered the canonical ending we will see thanks all Hello all, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button below. You can also subscribe by clicking the channel image in the center of the video. If you are interested in more content in this series, to the left is a link to the full playlist. 
If you are interested in videos on other games or topics, you can click on the channel name below the video to visit the Kraos Gaming channel page. Thanks all.